Hello and welcome to another video. This video is a follow-up of this Shopify app uh, no, using Node.js and on the last video I just had this Git, GitHub <coughs> project and I made some changes. Uh, everything was in the index so I took it out and just made another route with, uh, with Shopify, that's the name of it. And the last video so a couple of videos ago, I only had covered the install or installation, which is pretty simple. When people come here to this URL, Shopify, in this case, going to be Shopify slash install. Um, it, they get redirected to this the, to the installation uh, URL. But on this video, I'm just going to show you how you can get the token after you install, because once you install, uh, the user will see a a page where they have to accept or authorize the, the installation so once they hit that they want to accept the installation they will get redirected to the uh, to this page or to this URL to the authorization this is where you will exchange the code uh, that you get from Shopify and you need to check uh, make sure that your that the Shopify uh, store has these arguments, so this is th this is the same thing from last video. Uh, once it's checked, we'll continue on to the next step, and in here we need to verify that the call came from Shopify. That's all, and then we'll just mark it as true again, and if not, we'll just say false. Same thing as the above. We're just checking that. Um, obviously you need your app ID your app secret to make that happen over here on this step so the easiest way is to get going is just clone this project and make sure you have a, a dot env file in your project and I'll show you right now uh, but if you follow along uh, once the security pass is done this is the part that everybody wants to know how can I get the token and it's pretty simple but you do need to add well this project if you clone the project you it's already here so you don't have to worry about it but if you don't if you have a blank project make sure you uh, you do npm install request promise and npm install request separately for some reason uh, this guy is not bringing requests the, a separate library when you install this one before it was now it's not but if we get going down here in line 54 here's the URL where you're gonna exchange you want an access token so you're gonna pass the shop that is installing and we have this payload here that's what I call it you can name anything you want and you need to have the app ID the secret and the code and then you do a request you post that data as you can see here in this JSON uh, and then like that then you get a return back so if everything went good you're gonna get um, you can get the access token and, and with this line 63 and in here as you can see I, I'm just writing to the console saying shop token you know the number and num whatever you get back and then once everything is fine then I will redirect uh, the user to this URL Shopify app and passing the shop name or store name whatever you want to call it if something went wrong then we're gonna have an error here and if the security uh, options didn't pass like the store name uh, the call is not from you from Shopify then it will just redirect to this dummy page here install error and then this is the as you can see here this redirect is basically calling this guy app and we can do other stuff there so uh, clone the, the project so you make it easy on yourself and then I'm going to show you that it actually works so I clone the, um, the project and I'm using I would recommend that to make it easy if, if you're not familiar with github and all that stuff you can install github desktop and then that's that's how you can clone it. You can go. Uh, let me see. I've been using a different thing, but you can clone right here. Clone, and then you can point it to the URL. 
or you can just download it so if you don't want to complicate stuff just click here and then download it okay uh, let me see this is just uh, once you clone it and you I'm in, in my desktop I have notemon so that's what I'm running and as you can see it's right here so there's nothing special right now about it it's just a regular app node app um, let me see what else I'm running uh, to make it work make sure you have your credentials your app ID and all that stuff from Shopify and as you can see here I'm using the free plan from NGROK I don't know how to pronounce that but that's the name of the company and I'm running so I'm gonna basically make my local host uh, 3000 on port 3000 available on this uh, I guess this random number subdomain that ngrok.io it's free so you can try it if you have problems in understanding this guy let me know in the comments below and then I'll try to help you it, it's been it, it's pretty simple so the next thing I have well is that it that's about it so here's the project okay so here's the Shopify route that I have that's the same thing on github so you're gonna get the same thing when you copy it so what I'm gonna do is just run it and then you see you know what happens I'm gonna lower all this stuff and I'm gonna go in here and say slash Shopify and this is the test shop that I have you can make a, sh a shop for your own like a store a, a dev store on Shopify once you have a partnership with them uh, so that's the one that I chose it doesn't really matter what the store you pick or name it but once you hit shop install URL uh, it will get redirected to to this page obviously it's not published we know that anyways we're gonna click install app and as you can see uh, we're in the app now so pretend that the that you did all that stuff and blah 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 now you have your store here so to prove that the token actually work here it is as you can see here I have a couple of notes in here console saying that the the store name does meet the requirements uh, and then we got a token and as you can see here here's the token for that installation and that's about it so obviously don't use this token right now because I'm gonna delete it uh, you need to install it on, on your side with your own credentials but on the next video I'm gonna use a different token obviously to try to get products okay so if you have pr uh, questions about how can you get products uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna have a video ready uh, on how you can use uh, Node.js uh, to use Shopify API to pull products and if you look at the Shopify API product you have to uh, pull the products by page and there's a 250 limit per page so hopefully this uh, code will help someone I'll, I'll leave the the link in the comments below so you can download it and copy and try it out but make sure you do have your EMV file as you can see here I have an EMV file I'm not gonna click on it because then I'll show you my details so I'm gonna keep it private there and make sure your github uh, ignore file that one I can open make sure you do have a dot EMV so you when you submit and push to your github wherever you push uh, your code into it's not gonna be published there so make sure you do that that env so if you have any questions about this installation and the authorization and getting the token uh, leave a comment below okay thank you for watching